the fuck is that? When it almost looks like a mantis shrimp, um, the one that can like fire its uh, its little arms out. But I don't think we don't get those here, do we? Looks very similar though. See, that's the sort of things I want to see. Things like this that I've never seen before. And I can look into it and find out exactly what it is. I've tempted to keep that, but I won't. Why won't I? No, I'm not going to keep you. So as you can see, I did actually keep it. Well, that's not the full story. I came back home and did a bit of research and then realised what this shrimp was. And was like, crap, I've got to get back down the beach and find it. It was getting dark. It's finding a shrimp on a beach, covered in seaweed and all sorts of stuff. The wind's been blowing. I found it. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I'm really glad that I did. So what is it? Well, here's its Latin name. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. And it is, in fact, a mantis shrimp, as I suspected. There are about 400 species of mantis shrimp in the world, and in the UK we get two. In fact, they're not actually in our guidebooks. They're only known to exist in a few places around the British Isles. One of the places is suspected to be off the Isle of Wight, which is obviously why I found one, because it's just off the Isle of Wight, and this does confirm that they are there. It's only been in the past 20 years that they've actually realised where they are in the UK. And some of the recent sightings of this shrimp have caused people to suggest that it's here because of global warming, because normally they're found in the Mediterranean and places like that. Well, the truth of it is, they've actually been recorded in England since 1900. It seems to have two sets of six legs, the first six being the walking legs, and the other six having like paddle ends. So they obviously use those to help swim around. That's quite a nice looking tail, but nothing remarkable so far. Now we get to the mind-blowing amazing facts about this shrimp. Its eyes are the most complicated eyes in the animal kingdom. Humans, you and I, we have binocular vision, meaning we have an image from each eye. They get three images from one eye, so they have sexnocular vision. So that's the equivalent of them having three pupils per eyeball. Not only that, they can see in 16 light wavelengths. Humans are only able to see four colour wavelengths. And they can also move their eyes independently on stalks. So you're basically talking about the most visually aware creature on Earth. So they've got amazing eyes, but there's so much more to the mantis shrimp, and this is the reason that it's most well known. Now mantis shrimps come with two different types of claws. You either have the club version, which basically just walks around, looks for a crab, looks for a clam, something like that, and it fires its claw out and it just smashes the shell. The other type are called spearers, and they literally shoot their arms out and stick their spears through little things and catch them and then eat them, or catch them within the arms and the spines that you can see there. Now, the mantis shrimps with club claws eat clams, crabs, things like that, and the way that they kill them is they just hit them with their claw. But this isn't a light tap, this is serious. This thing can break your finger, it can break glass of an aquarium. Between it starting to move and hitting the object it wants to hit, it's around 23 milliseconds. Now that acceleration is the equivalent of a 22 caliber bullet. Not only that, but when it hits the crab or the clam or wherever it's trying to eat, the impact on it can be up to 60 kilograms. But it is so hard and so fast that when the claw actually strikes the item, it causes the water around that area to heat up so quickly that it turns to steam. That instantly condenses and collapses on itself, called a cavitation. This can create light. That's right, it punches so hard it creates light. And not only that, but when it hits the item, you get the initial hit of them hitting it, and then you get a much stronger force of the cavitation collapsing onto its shell. So when it hits that clam, it actually gets hit twice. And that's why it can smash apart clams and crabs and all the things it needs to eat as food. Sh shall I lick it? Fuck off. <laughs> okay, I I'm not saying anything, but, um, hello. What is that? Wow.